sort of difference. So I was really happy for them that they've showed that grit and, you know, played for each other. They'll, you know, they'll get a lot out of that. It's sort of fair to say, I know you weren't there, but if that was last year, that might have happened. We might have leaked 20 points there. Oh, oh, I don't know about last year. We, I mean, we shouldn't have leaked 18. You know, they were the 18 most soft points you've ever seen from two from last play and then letting Granville do that. I mean, we, you know, we, we made life tough for ourselves and we shouldn't have leaked 18 points tonight. You said you had a bit of an issue with drop ball. Where'd that come from, Book? Was that fatigue or, or just a lack of concentration? Oh, I thought, you know, a little bit of both. In our own end, we killed ourselves straight away again, you know, in the first set, you know, just a lack of execution. And then after points a couple of times, we, we turned over. I mean, the things that will get better, but we're just making it hard for ourselves at the moment. Um, you know, I think we're just 70% again with the ball tonight. So we worked really hard. I mean, I, I'm so proud of them, the way, the way they work, but um, we've got to fix up you know, that control of the football. The other end of the field, Benny Hunt seemed to be doing some pretty good things in attack, though. Yeah, it was still a little clunky, and you, you get that because you're, you're doing too much defence and um, you, you're not building momentum with the ball. But I, I thought him and Norman were, you know, had some really big plays in them tonight. Um, you know, both sides of the ball, I thought defensively they were both great as well. So... Um, so I was really pleased for him to get his first win, you know, being the captain, and he got that try for us to to sort of go ahead again, or, or to you know go to a seven-point lead there, which is a typical, you know, captain's try. He took the line on and and did it himself. Do you think Corey coming back sort of took the playmaking pressure off Ben a little bit, and he was just able to sort of do his own thing? Uh, well, I think they just helped each other, you know. Um, you know, Corey's, you know, that's what you expect them to do too. They've both got a lot of experience. Um, so you want them in tight games like that to be able to, to get you over the line. I thought their kicking game was great. Um, but, you know, Corey, for his first hit out, was really good. And um, they had some nice touches together. We just got to get more football and and uh, more combination out of them. Do you think Corey's kicking game, particularly in the first half, to kept your forwards been in the game? Whereas he was, his, with his deep kicks, keeping the Cowboys in there and half, they, they, I think they only had one real attacking set when Cohen has scored. Yeah, I, I, I thought our kick and chase for most of the night, we got terribly fatigued at the back end there. There's a few of them that had cramp and couldn't pick their legs up. But for most of the night, you know, they're in tent to win field position, you know, to kick early and chase and force errors out of the opposition down the other end of the field, I thought was really good. You know, and having that left foot, right foot combination just helps you do that. It gives you both sides of the field to kick to. And, um, but, you know, our intentions all night were, I thought, really good. We've just got to, you know, brush up, obviously, you know, the, the, um, the possession and 